Hey everybody. So for today's skill, we're going to do the hydraulic push-up. We haven't done this movement in a little bit, but it is back for 50 for time. So the hydraulic push-up starts with a push-up. So we're in that top push-up plank position, elbows extended. We bring our chest to the floor and then elbows fully extended as we come back up. Then we go to one elbow, then you go to the other elbow, and then you lock both elbows back out so that you're extended where you st and you're back in the plank position you started in, and that is one rep. So it's a push-up, elbow, elbow, hand, hand, and then we're back at the plank, and that's one rep. We're going to do 50 of them, 50 for time. If you can't do these without going to your knees, obviously that would be the appropriate scale. Go to your knees, but we're still looking for that full push-up, chest to the floor, and then obviously we're just on the elbows just as we were without the knees. So we're going to do 50 of those for time. Log your score on Beyond the Whiteboard. The workout today, it's basically 20 rounds, but the reps change each round. So if you're looking at the blue here, we're going to start with 20 pistols with your butt to the box and then one sit-up. Then in round two, it's 19 pistols, two sit-ups. Round three is 18, three, and it goes on like that. So at the end, you'll end up with one pistol and 20 sit-ups. And then in the black, it's the same thing, but we're not going butt to the box. We're doing a, a pistol without the box. So let's take a look at those movements. So the first thing we were talking about there was the pistol butt to the box. Obviously, this doesn't need to be a box. If you don't have a box, you can use a chair, couch, whatever you can get your butt to. The lower, the better. If you can go down to a nice low target and still come back up on one leg, then let's use that lower target. So what we're looking for here is butt back and down. We touch the target, and then we step back up with that one foot on the floor. The other foot is not allowed to touch the floor until the other leg, the working leg, is fully extended at the knees and hips. That's when you tap the other foot to the floor. So don't prematurely step both feet to the floor before you're fully extended. And then the pistol is the same movement, but we're not using a target or a box. So you're on one leg. You're going to go down, and we're looking for a full squat here, so butt below the knees. That means hip crease below the kneecap and then stand all the way back up. You get your leg fully extended, knees and hips, and then the other foot can touch the floor. And that is your pistol. The sit-up, we know this movement. We're starting on the floor, laying down, shoulders on the floor. Butterfly your knees, so knees out. Soles of your feet are together. You're going to touch the floor behind your head. Reach up and touch the floor in front of your feet. Remember, that is the standard. It's full range of motion. Floor behind your head, floor in front of your feet. If you have an ab mat, use it. If you don't, don't. Just do a sit-up without it, and that's our movement. So we've got 20 rounds here. It's going to be 20 pistols and then one sit-up, and then we go 20 to 1 on the pistols, 1 to 20 on the sit-ups. Log your scores on Beyond the Whiteboard, and I'll see you tomorrow.